everyone, welcome to Brian Scott Game. I am Brian, and today I got a game called Zombie Sheep. Zombie Sheep is a 2-3 player card game by Jason Goff, and is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. In this game, players take turns laying down cards attempting to capture sheep to earn victory points. But beware, your opponents won't go down so easily. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to fend off the other players and be the first to 5 points by capturing enough zombie sheep. To set up the game, first you place the king sheep in the, at the center of the table, and then you take the three group cards, sheep herder, animal lover, and zo zombie fanatic. Then the players choose which one they're most in, they're most like, and then you set up the game like that. Next, you deal five cards to each player. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you place the rest of them off to the side. This is the draw. Now you are ready to begin. You have five cards in your hand, and you have. You can have numbered cards or non numbered cards. These are numbered, this is not. I have one non-numbered card. It says remove any one number numbered card. That means from a sheet when they're played. I'm not going to play that right now. So I can play any of these numbered ones. Well, this is a five. That's a one, five, three. So it's good to play high numbers. There are three different types of cards. They're the same as the player. If you play one that's yours, it's plus one to you. But if I played this one, it'd still be five. This one's six. But if someone else played that, it's only five. I'll play that. And then you don't draw up, and you put them down. Then it's the next player's turn. These are his cards. He has three numbered cards and two non-numbered cards. This means that all, they all move to their type, wouldn't do anything right now. He can play this one though. Drunk sheep. This sheep is full of hops and slow to move. Target sheep need two less to catch. So when he plays it, he puts it on the sheep he wants to play it on. So let's say this one. It normally costs 30, as says here. And now it costs 28 because he played this, which takes off two. Put it there, easy to see. And he doesn't draw his cards. And since he wants, he'll play a number card. Now it's the animal lover's turn. He has four cards. No numbered. So he can't play a number this turn. He doesn't want to play on this sheet, so he's going to play a new sheet. This one is five victory points. You need five to win. So if you catch him, you pretty much win. This one is less victory points, but easier to catch. Since he doesn't have any numbered cards, he won't play them, but if he did, he would. When play comes around, player draws up to five and then they can play again mm, okay so you can play on any sheep you want and play can play continues until one player has five points in sheep and then the game is over they win though this game seems easy let's take a take a look at some of the cards that make this game interesting there are more sheep they're worth different amounts, easier to catch, depending on the victory points. There's a few really fun to play with cards. This one makes it so the last, the latest card played on a sheep is taken off, discarded. This one makes it so animal lovers types are all worth one. There are also two others that make it so the 
zombie ones and the sheep herders ones are more. There's Dung of the Dead. It, this is a promo card. It just makes someone else lose a turn. There's also a very interesting one called Sheep Terrorist. You play it whenever a sheep is caught. It blows up and everyone gets a piece. Each person gets a third of the sheep's value. But if there's two players, they cut it in half. This is how you play Zombie Sheep. First one to five points wins. Oh, this is also a prototype art. The real art looks like this. In the back art, I think that's it. Okay, I've got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Zombie Sheep? Zombie Sheep was a super fun game. Uh, we met the designer when we were at Gen Con, um, and he was nice enough to, to, let it, to give us this prototype uh, to do a review. Um, we had fun playing it. It's a super fast game. Um, I, I, I kind of it reminds me a little bit of Smash Up, how you're you're all trying to play your numbered cards on uh, on a sheep, um, trying to get to the highest number first. Um, but there's tons of uh, I'd say you know take that cards, the not numbered cards. Um, to really mess with each other, and as soon as you think you have a good plan, your opponent totally messes it up. So, good, good fun. Um, we we really had fun with it. Yeah, components are just cards. The instructions, the artwork, the finished artwork is wonderful. Love it. Yeah, the finished artwork is is really well done. Uh, we have kind of some that was the prototype art, and a little mixed in there with the with the finished art. Um, but the the finished stuff uh, looked really good. The gameplay is pretty easy. You play a card, and then you might play another card. And then you can also, um, forgot to say this, that you can also, before your turn, you can discard as you're drawing up. Strategy. It's good to maybe avoid the king sheep, maybe and like play some smaller sheeps, so, and then maybe try to mess the other people up on the super sheep. So they don't win, and then you, while well, you're just winning by getting the other sheep. Yeah, so sheets. it's it's really interesting that um, they decided to have the king there as you know the starting sheep because if you can get him, you win. But you know everybody's jumping out there trying to get him first. I um, mean, a couple of games that that we played, you know, the king was never captured, um, and so there there's a good deal about a strategy. You know, would you go for the smaller guys, quicker ones first? Do you go for the big one? Uh, you know, you blow them up and use their parts. Uh, <laughs> there's there's a lot of different things you can do with this game. Pretty easy for kids. Like I said, play a card, maybe play another, and discard. Yeah, the rules are super easy. You know, you play two cards, draw cards. Um, the theme, uh, I, I don't know if that would is necessarily, you know, for the kids. I, I don't think they would really, you know, think of, you know, that it's bad or good one way or the other. Um, but if you if you do like, you know, if you're into the horror genre, uh, of movies and books, this uh, game is is really paying homage to that. Uh, the King um, is obviously after Stephen King, um, and then I think there was a Jason card in there. Um, and so, so if if you do like that genre, there's lots of little bits and pieces in there that uh, that you might enjoy um, from various movies and books and those types of things. Uh, but it, it's really interesting theme. Overall, I think it's a really good game. You play cards. You discard cards. I like. It. Yeah, it's super easy. It's a good filler. Um, we we enjoyed uh, our time playing with it. Um, go ahead and check it out. Thank you for watching Brian Scott Game. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Tweet us at Brian Scott Game. See you next time.